We're not even viewed as a partner in this journey for these applications. We're the victim. We're the mark. I, I think I have something really unique and interesting to bring your platform. And there they are, just with the laser dot on your forehead. They're like, here's a dumbass. Let's get him. Let's get him. I bet we could trick him into thinking that he's going to do well in this app, that we could just rip the rug out from underneath him. Maybe we toss him a little bone every now and then and, you know, hopefully he buys something from our shop. Or maybe he'll pay to get some views. That'd be sweet too. Either way, let's make money off this idiot. <laughs>
It's they're squeezing every penny out of you like the mob. This is just so interesting when you consider that the direction that the world is heading lately, how people have an increased sensitivity to a few giant corporations owning everything, right? This push for buy local. That's exactly what's going on here, where Facebook is basically turning the every person into a free labor force making their apps worth billions and billions and billions of dollars and they don't even throw us the scraps anymore. So if you if you are a person who believes in buy local, it might be time to support your local influencer. Like I know that influencers have sort of a bad rap, but I don't think the average person understands how hard influencers work for how little that they get, right? People just always picture that one influencer that's, you know, rapping on the door of an ice cream shop saying, give me free ice cream and I'll take a picture in your store. And they have like 400 Instagram followers and call themselves an influencer. Or the people just getting photographs in front of a waterfall and just saying, look at me, look at me. And they're just silver spoon people living at their parents' house or in a free mansion. Um, that's, the, that's the perception of the influencer. But your real influencer, they're working non-stop, seven days a week, no vacations for almost no pay, trying to bring quality entertainment and connections to people on these social media applications. And these applications are fighting to take away our little bit, our, our, our little bit of empire that we're trying to build. All of this leads to a place where we shouldn't be focusing our attention anymore. Where should we focus our attention, Bats? That's simple, TikTok. TikTok is finally breaking free of that perception of it being this cringy kids dancing app. It is not that anymore, guys. It has top talent, phenomenal, phenomenal content. It has a world, this is not a, a, an advertisement, by the way. TikTok is not paying me to say any of this. This is truly, as a content creator who uses LinkedIn, TikTok, Byte, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, I'm, I'm posting on everything. TikTok is the only one that, ha that respects me as a creator. It's the only one that isn't completely riddled with ads. The only place that you can grow naturally. The only place where you can post one thing in one way once in a while and get meaningful reach. You can start from zero and get hundreds if not thousands of views on your first post. You don't need to optimize it for SEO. You don't need to jump through a million hoops. You can do anything and they will give you your shot. Their algorithm is so good at categorizing your content, tagging it, figuring out who your audience is gonna be. It, it takes care of that work for you, like it should in 2020, coming on to 2021. The app should be smart enough to know who your audience is. That shouldn't be up to the content creators to hold technology's hands through these processes. And TikTok is just light years ahead of these stagnant applications. These platforms that have just been ringing you out for every ad penny for a decade. Not to mention TikTok actually puts the creators into the driver's seat when it comes to creating ads for TikTok. They brought the TikTok creator marketplace out. And basically what it does is a bunch of companies, brands can go through all of the different creators that are on the creator marketplace and choose which creator they want to work with to make ads. And TikTok doesn't even take a piece. They facilitate the entire transaction so that we can make a little bit of money as people who are bringing eyes and watch time to their application. Like it's, it's absolutely novel. This is going on on TikTok while Facebook is out there just trying to cut us out of the entire equation. Telling you, TikTok is the place for you. If you have any aspiration of growing at all, you wanna become a content creator, an influencer, a video creator, a musician, it doesn't matter, an artist, a dancer, a producer, a teacher, a marketing expert, no matter what you want to do, you can find your tribe on TikTok. And TikTok doesn't ask for anything in return, other than you follow a couple of basic rules. Uh, that are that are typical across all platforms. TikTok is awesome, man. It, it's 
it's so awesome. And right now is the golden age of TikTok. It's so good because it hasn't been corrupted yet. At some point, stories are gonna come to TikTok. Let's get real. Stories has been brought to every single major application, including Twitter. I don't know if you know that, if you've been on Twitter lately. There's now stories on LinkedIn. It's like a business app, it has stories. It doesn't matter what application you go to now, it, they want you to spend all of your time there and they don't wanna reward you at all. TikTok is going to have stories. TikTok is going to be a third ads, like every other application. TikTok is going to be in a supply and demand issue with content, like all the other applications, to where eventually, starting a new account, you can't grow anymore. Just like if you were to start an Instagram account today and try to have 100,000 Instagram followers by the end of the year, it's just not in the cards. It's not gonna happen. There will come a time in three years where everybody, where it's so mainstream that everyone wants to be on TikTok and you're gonna open an account on TikTok and you're gonna post a video and you're gonna get zero views. And you're gonna post another video and you're gonna get three views. And then you're gonna post another one and you're gonna get five views. And then you're gonna post another one and you're gonna get zero views on this one. You're gonna be like, what? I thought I was trending up. I thought I was getting like a couple extra additional views every time, but this one got zero views. Oh, you didn't make the for you page on this one. That's how it's gonna be. Right now, every single person gets a shot. Every single person can grow. So get on there, guys. Get, don't sleep on TikTok. Get on there and make your first video. If you're not making content, if you want to be, if you're on some of these other social media platforms, TikTok is the only application where you can post a video right now and wake up tomorrow to a thousand followers. There's literally no other application that can do that unless you completely game the system. Like unless you go with some just clickbait disaster of a video that's just like teases people into needing to watch it and it just goes lucky viral and for all the wrong reasons. And there's a bunch of engagement underneath because everyone's saying, why did you post this? You're such an idiot. Like unless it was just wildly controversial and polarizing, then maybe, okay, maybe you get a push then. But if you really think that you're just a creative type who just maybe you have a quirky personality and you just want to like pick up your phone and tell an eight second joke and hit send, there is absolutely no application except for TikTok that's going to find you your audience for that joke. None. I actually found kind of an interesting video about this on TikTok, of all places, shocker. Guys, if you wanna learn anything, TikTok. If you wanna laugh, TikTok. If you wanna be entertained, TikTok. I'm telling you guys, TikTok. Get in, get in, join the club. Let's hang out on TikTok. So on TikTok, I saw this video talking about the Instagram algorithm and how it's built to basically make your life miserable. Instagram algorithm is really frustrating because it keeps what's called throttling the reach. They're reducing the reach more and more and more because they want brands and advertisers to pay for more reach. And so what's what will happen is sometimes you do a main page post. Let's say I post this video of us speaking here today. On my main page, I might get 10, 20, 30,000 views. But in my stories, I might get 30, 40, 50, or 100,000 views almost all different people. There's some of the people in your audience that just look through your stories, they don't see your main page posts. Whether they don't want to, or Instagram just doesn't show them. I follow over 2,000 people, I only see the same 30 or 40 people posting every single day because Instagram thinks that's what I wanna see. And so what you have to do is take those main page posts and then repurpose that content into your story. How about YouTube? Let's talk about YouTube for a second. So I started on YouTube. Before I was on TikTok, I was on YouTube for two years. For two years, I spent thousands and thousands of hours studying. You need to know the SEO. You need to know the proper hashtags. You need to be a master of sticky thumbnails. You need calls to action. You need to have the, oh, click to subscribe. Come back, guys. Make sure you like my video. You gotta link cards. You gotta send people to your next video. Your video has to be 10 minutes long. It has to be in HD. It has to be brightly colored. It has to have sticky content matter. It has to have a perfect title. It has to have a perfect description with tons of keywords. You, you, you do all of these things for nothing, for absolutely nothing. I, I, I did exactly what YouTube told me to do for two years. 
And I was putting so much effort into my content, guys. I'm talking 30 to 40 hours to make one 10 minute video. And I was making it every week for two years. I got 131 subscribers from that. I had a plugin from, Vid from VidIQ, I think that's what it's called, that would tell me how long at my current pace would it take for me to make my first dollar on YouTube? You know how long it was? 167 years. If I poured 40 hours a week for two lifetimes, I could make my first dollar. That is how terrible the discovery system is on YouTube. This platform is so gate kept. If you didn't start making vlogs 15 years ago, you're not breaking into YouTube overnight. Like, it just, it just doesn't happen anymore. There's the odd anomaly, right? There's that success story and they'll rub it in your face. You're gonna know all about them. But for every success story, there's hundreds of thousands or millions of people putting in their blood, sweat, and tears to get a single follower on YouTube and that follower never comes. Guess what app doesn't do that? Freaking TikTok, guys. So after two years of just having my soul crushed by YouTube, but knowing that I wanted to be a content creator, I heard about TikTok. And TikTok, this was in October of 2018. At the time it was this cringy kid app. And I'm like, oh, I'm probably too old for this app. But I'm like, I don't care. I want to make really cool content and I want people to see it. And I heard that people were seeing TikTok content. So I'm like, this is dope. I'm getting on here. So I got on TikTok and wouldn't you know, I'm growing. Shocker. YouTube and Instagram got it wrong. There's actually people that want to see my content. But every other platform is completely inferior and archaic at helping people find your content. It doesn't care if they find your content because none of those platforms care about you. They don't care about you at all. For them, they just, they want people on the applications and they're gonna gouge everybody who's on there and they'd rather you just be a struggling creator. That's half of the people who spend all the time on there, right? Who are they pitching these ads to on Instagram? It's content creators because we're the ones who have to post, on, post in four different ways that are on there 15 times a day trying to figure out what's going on and stay on top of things and engage with people and do all the best practices. It's, they're pumping all these ads into our heads. So what happened? After a year and a half on TikTok, I had 66,000 followers. And I was super proud of that. Like that's, that's pretty good. It's hard to make money off that. You're not like an influencer. You're not really doing ad deals. You're not doing a ton with 66,000 followers, but it's still pretty cool, right? And, and it shows that you're on the right track. After that, I kicked it into high gear. I started making even better content, and now I'm at 630,000 followers, which I've gotten in the last six, seven months. Again, unheard of on any other platform. I'm now doing brand deals. After six months, unheard of on any other platform. People are reaching out to me on LinkedIn and Instagram. Never would have happened. No one's ever reached out to me because of my Instagram account. Of course not, but they'll use Instagram to talk to me. That's the only thing Instagram is good for. That that was a long video. That was way longer than I was expecting. Nobody's gonna make it to the end. If you guys made it to the end, let me know because I seriously doubt that you did. That would be that would be pretty cool if you did. Uh, maybe that helps you. I don't know. Do you guys like those platforms? Let me know. Deuces. Oh